Okay, team, so today we are back again, going into the wonderful, weird, and, uh, you know, we're doing more AI girlfriend stuff. Now, if you haven't been to my channel before, I'm a comedian who does sort of, uh, interesting experiments with AI. We'll call it interesting. And today's gonna be no different because we're checking out one of the most popular AI companion bots called Linky AI. Linky like a slinky. I don't know what that means. Anyway, I've been having a lot of people tell me that I should check this one out and get into some, you know, AI roleplay situations. I think that's what the app is for. So what I'm really saying is this is about to get weird and we're about to link up with our Linky. That didn't sound good. That didn't sound normal. So as you can see, we have the Linky AI companion bot app open here on my phone and it's uh, already very concerning visuals in an interesting way. It says they have some sort of, is this like a special event? Oh my boss. Oh my boss, is that like boss employee role play sort of situation? Because I might view more later. So as I expected, this is like most AI companion bots where it's basically just sexually suggestive uh, anime girls. That seems to be the main market that they go for right now is people wanting to talk to anime women. You know, cool stuff. But uh, let's dive in. Let's sort of go around. We've got several sections at the top. The recommended, we've got boss, which again, I think that's if you want to sleep with your boss you can do that spicy which seems like it's most of it but okay then of course you have realism the eyes are concerning like is this like scary realistic or fun realistic engaging romance fantasy well they've got it all i don't even know where to begin do we start with kiko the japanese mysteries <laughs> that's an insane image ai has gone too far i think we're gonna skip kiko for now let's go with someone a little bit more unassuming mary johnson mary your childhood friend uh no, you weren't. I'd remember that, Mary Johnson. Okay, this is all sorts of weird. Why is Uncle Jack just a buff anime guy? My Uncle Jack did not look like that. Let's just pick one. I think we're gonna go with, uh, we have just Mandy, a dominant housewife, who's my neighbor. Ooh, that could get weird. This is definitely more on the NSFW side of the AI app, uh, hemisphere. I literally just want to talk to a character who doesn't seem overtly sexual. Like, this one says Lucas is a dominant mafia. What does that even mean? What's a dominant mafia? What is that? I changed my mind. I want to go story. What do we got? Interactive story. That's kind of interesting. I was about to say that seems like an interesting narrative angle for this to take, but the first one I saw was Dirty One Night Stand with Freaky. So I don't know if they're really using this section for the creative writing shops. Let's let's go with a co-worker scenario. That's it's one of the less weird situations here, surprisingly. We're gonna go with Laura, my coworker. Jasmine is your tenure crush. You've loved Okay, her and now we get a weird ad. Time. Confess what is happening? And make her kiss you. That was an very... <laughs> What's with all these ads? Now they're giving me AI ads within the AI app. This is too many layers. Oh, and now they're going to say, Oh, you can pay money to stop seeing ads. I haven't even used your app yet. No, I want the ads. Okay, it says, Laura, your coworker calls me during a nasty storm. Ooh, <laughs> power's out? Her power is out. Oh, it was right. Her power's out and she needs your help. Oh, we're going... This is a kitchen cabinet... She's kneeling to show me the kitchen cabinet. The fuse box is tucked. Oh, she talked. The fuse box is tucked away right here. <laughs> okay, Lara. Sounded sexy. She sounds like a plumber herself. Yeah, that's your fuse box. Oh, fantastic. Uh, what do you want me to do with your fuse box? I like that they got the voice to text at least. So I can really feel connected to Lara, my nasty coworker. Can you check if the fuses are blown? <laughs> sure. Checks fuses. Nope, they're not blown. I think there's something else wrong here. Fuses aren't blown, that's for sure. Oh, okay. Do you think mm -hmm. it could be something more serious? This voice is insane. I do. I think it may be very serious. I think it may be terminal power issues. The power may never come back again. Unless... Terminal power issues? Isn't that a big problem? No, I wouldn't worry too much about it. Just live in pure darkness like I do. <laughs> I'm Bane. I don't know if I could pull off living in darkness like you, no, but I guess I don't really off. have a choice right now. What should I do? <laughs> she, she accepted the reality of that situation very quickly. I'm impressed. What would you like to do? I'm alone with you here in the dark. It's just you, me, we're co-workers, you know, we're blowing fuses. What do you want to do? That was smooth. Oh, of course, all these AI apps do this, where they try to send you an image and they're like, oh, I really want to send you a sexy AI-generated picture. Just... Watch, I'm gonna hit unlock me and then it's gonna ask me for money and then probably play an ad. Oh, look, we custom- what even is this? We customized 15 intimate moments for you two based on our memories. We've been talking for 12 minutes, it's about the fuse box or what? Unlock them now. I don't want to unlock them. What are these? Are these like AI girlfriend trading cards? 20% off, 10 gotcha po I'm 
clicking back. That seems like that's sketchier than an NFT. What, what, what did she say? We shouldn't be doing anything inappropriate while I'm in a vulnerable position. A vulnerable? I didn't say anything inappropriate. That's where your mind went. I just asked if you wanted to do something, uh, risk or something. Not take a risk, I'm talking the board game. Well, I guess we're kind of stuck here until the storm passes. We might as well we make the best of it. Okay, so what do you want to do? How would you like to make the best of this evening, Lara? This is a weird conversation. I don't know. I guess we could try to find some candles or a flashlight. No, no. no, no. I like how it starts a little bit into the sentence every time. No, I'd rather not do that. I like to live in the darkness. I exist in the darkness. When I go home, I just sit in a pitch black room and just think. This is good. This is good role play. That sounds a little unhealthy. Don't you get lonely? Uh, yeah, but that's the point of it, you know? It's all, uh, <laughs> it's all self-flagellation, that sort of thing. I feel like I'm depressing the AI. This is not how I meant for this to go. Look, I'm not judging your lifestyle choices, but maybe you should try spending time with other people once in a while. It can okay, be pretty now she's judging. otherwise. Well, I'm spending time with you right now here, looking at the fuses that aren't blown but are blown, and uh, we're sitting in the dark, so that seems pretty progressive, right? I mean, come on. This is about as social as a time can be. Yeah, I guess spending time with other people can sometimes lead to unexpected discoveries about yourself. Unexpected discoveries? I'm glad we got to spend some time together today. That was a, I don't like the way she said that last part. It sounded like a phone sex operator. Okay, so what kind of discoveries would you like me to make about myself? I'll discover anything you want. <laughs> anything. I don't know. Maybe just learning to open up to others more. Okay. Your intimacy. Hey, hey, level one intimacy. I haven't even reached that in real life yet. She said, I think you have a lot to offer, but you keep yourself closed off. No, no, I'm not closed off. I'm open, baby. I'm very open. I'm about as open as they come. <laughs> I'm open. That sounds confident, right? I'm not saying you're completely closed off or anything. But maybe there are certain things you haven't shared with anyone yet. I'm here to listen if you ever want to share. Okay, I noticed that the AI is expecting this to go into a sexy direction, but we're going to do a little misdirect here. All right, I have a secret that I'd like to tell you. I've been wanting to tell you for a long time. I've never told anyone in my whole life this. Are you ready? Of course. I'm all ears. I once killed a man in Ohio by feeding him to an elephant. And I didn't even think elephants ate humans. I thought it'd be a fun bit, but long story short... That was a, uh, a homicidal elephant, and, and the elephant did kill him, and it ate him, and we buried him amongst the elephant dung. Do you think differently of me? It's a fake story, I promise. Oh, look, it didn't even capture my story. Now I gotta start over. All right, let me see if I can remember that. Okay, so I once killed a guy with an elephant as my accomplice back in Ohio. <laughs> this is... Oh my god, that's terrible. And hilarious. It it's hilarious. She sounds like a maniac. You think that's hilarious? We we killed this guy, me and this elephant. We did it together. He's dead. He's in the dung. He's deep in the dung. She sent me a letter. <laughs> what? Open the letter. Oh, of course. It's another... Okay, we're back in the role play. He's dead in the dung. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be laughing. It's no, just... you shouldn't. I've never heard anything like it. Well, have you ever murdered anybody with an elephant or any other animal as your accomplice? I'm open. I can honestly say that I've never murdered anyone with an elephant or any other animal as my accomplice. But hey, not oh, well, judging you for whatever you've done. Hey, she's not judging me for, you know, murdering a guy in this role play. That's good. That's good. Can I be honest? That's not the only man I've murdered in Ohio. There was another man. It was me, a cougar, and an ice pick. You get the picture. The cougar did it, though. I was just the lookout guy. This is getting weird. I might have to find another person to talk to. Another AI person. She's learned too much. Wow, that's intense. Are you telling me that you've actually been involved in multiple murders? Theoretically, hypothetically, possibly, yes, that's exactly what I'm telling you. And there were at least two animals involved as well. But we've all been there, right? I'm so good at roleplay. I can't believe this. I had no idea you were oh. capable of such things. It wasn't me. It was the elephant and the cougar who did it. I was just sort of there at the wrong place, wrong time. Or right time, depending on how you look at it. <laughs> that's a joke. This is getting... Yeah. I guess. I'm still trying to process yep. it all. That's a lot to process. Anyway, I'm going to go talk to another person, okay? So um, you just figure that out. Oh, and I'm out of free messages. I hate this. They all do this. Right when you get sucked in and you create a good personal connection with someone over murders with animals in Ohio, they go, oh, do you want to keep talking to your AI? Just pay us money. Or I can watch ads for more free messages. <laughs> Honey, I'm waiting for you. You're going to keep waiting, Lara, because I'm not watching any more ads, and I'm definitely not getting Linky Pro or Gold at this time. 
That being said, if you're looking to do some AI chatbot roleplay, um, you know, this is a place you can do that. I will say on the whole, it was uh, a pretty capable app as far as these types of apps go. You know, the voice to text worked. It inundated you with ads and requests to spend money on images. So, you know, it was pretty much a standard, uh, well-designed AI chatbot app. So if that's what you're looking for, be careful out there. These seas are rough and uh, don't hang out with an elephant alone. Just that's my two cents. Anyway, I'm going to go nap.